Hello and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your daily reading for August the 12th, 2022. So depending on where you are in the world, this is also the full moon in Aquarius. If you're in Australia, the early hours, this is the full moon. So let's see what's coming in. Yesterday we had lots of beautiful, abundant energy in the higher realms, but in the 3D realms, our minds were like, I don't understand this. A uh, bit of conflict perhaps or some sleepless nights. So let's see what's coming in with how this full moon energy is progressing and where this is all going at this moment in time. Interesting that there is a lot of uh, earth energy around this moon. So I feel like this is a lot of the energy that was activated in that triple conjunction grounding down. We've got the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, speaking of the earth, we're looking at work or what you're working on, the Seven of Wands. Okay, you are getting wanting to get yourself in a better position, perhaps defending the space around. We're looking at big commitments here with this Hierophant energy, higher truths, big commitments, your higher self talking to you. The two of swords, again, your conscious mind, this is quite literally like one side, um, the intuition is telling you one thing and your logical mind is telling you another and you're like, I don't know what to do. But ultimately the ten of swords is where you are making a decision to let something go with the decision uh, coming in as a message from the angels here with the judgment energy big message coming in from higher self from above, okay? So it's almost like the intuition gets so loud that logical mind just gets overpowered <laughs> here. It's kind of like, okay, I'll just do what you say. And the Ten of Swords is very much like where you're letting, finally letting something go, closing a chapter, shutting a door on something, saying no to something. So it is transformative. There's a release, something that's taken up a lot of space in your mind. And we saw it kind of reach a bit of a pressure point. You know, it was gathering strength. Strength. It was the nine of swords yesterday. And there was the five of swords, which was a storm brewing and conflict. And it was kind of building, building, building to this crescendo to the point there where it was like you almost had to surrender to that intuitive message that was coming in and going, as we see with the two of swords, there's the crescent moon on one side, the logical side on the logical brain on the other side, and that crescent moon is actually saying, "Let this go." There's a huge release and recovery and transformation from this thing that has taken up a lot of space inside your mind. So let let all that go, <laughs> let that go, and it may be it's just a matter of letting go of that uh, kind of mental angst. It could be that part of the message is to kind of close the door on something. The Ten of Swords, interestingly, that can relate to belief systems, especially, you know, interestingly with the Hierophant, that could be around things that you were taught in terms of religion, philosophies, things you were taught as a child through just your general environment or your uh, the society around you, your neighbourhood, friends, family, so this could be a, re a real release of a belief system that's coming through here, something that was kind of like an established order in your life. And for whatever reason, the Ten of Swords is like saying you don't have to believe that anymore. Uh, there's something that you're letting go of here that is freeing you and liberating you. So this may require a little bit of processing time. It may require a little bit of just let, let it settle. You may feel a little bit tired as well with the Ten of Swords, but ultimately with this judgment energy here and the Hierophant, which is your soul as well, coming through, there's just these messages that are saying, getting these really, really strong messages here. So it's almost like, uh, you know, there's something that the universe, in terms of the big commitments that are coming into your life as well, there's things that you're working on that potentially you're saying no to or potentially you're restructuring in some way, which is or putting new structures in or taking structures out and restricting. So it can work in so many different ways. The judgment energy is where there's a calling. Something is calling for you and the universe is saying make space, make space. And that's what this Ten of Swords is. It's saying no to something, making space for this bigger message, this bigger commitment that's coming through with the Hierophant that uh, it doesn't have to be bigger, it just is around a commitment. So maybe you're readjusting something you're already committed to. 
So already you're working on here with the Eight of Pentacles. So again, the Seven of Wands is like make space, defend the space. Something needs some space here for you to work on it. And this is kind of this message that's calling you. We want you to be working on this. It could be quite literally relate, related to your work and career with the Eight of Pentacles, but it can just be something that you're getting this calling, this message from the judgment energy. And there's a lot of things that are coming up to be cleared out with the judgment energy. Those bodies are coming up from the dead things from the past are being reviewed and there's a huge review process going on and evaluation and listening to those messages of what it is it's time to let go of here to make space make space make space is coming through and then the judgment energy is like you're stepping into a whole new energy after that after this this review process has completed and you realize what it is that you've been that's being asked of you letting go of that and then stepping into it's kind of like a rebirth energy as well but yeah the judgment energy that you can see that that angel is heralding and calling you here so there's a message from the divine that's coming through from those higher realms so listen to that and they are really asking you to make space for something that they that you kind of that now feels right on a soul level to be working on to to something big. So that is kind of the message of the full moon that's coming in as well where this is going. So I think that may be why uh, the conscious mind was so stressed. We had a little bit of stress and worry and conflict only because it kind of feels like how can I fit a circle into a square, you know, what it is that you're asking of me I don't know if I can do it or I don't know if it's possible or I don't know. There may be some resistance to it. It may just seem like logically I don't know if I can do what you're asking of me, but this kind of it's kind of demanding. It's very demanding uh, in a way that it just feels right. It's kind of like a pull, like you can't uh, kind of push against this tide. So, yeah, interesting. So it does kind of require you to surrender to this greater calling that's coming in, this greater message, out, more powerful message, this powerful message that feels outside of you, yet it is a part of you. So interesting. So a very, very powerful energy, I would say, coming in for this full moon energy. So I look forward to what's coming in on the weekend.